What's up guys and girls? Welcome back to my very dark carport. Um, yeah, it's as good as the lighting gets around here. So, a uh, little late night project. Um, going to be doing the G2 paint caliper kit. Um, it is, actually I don't know what this color is called. Lime. That's what it's called. It's called lime. This is actually what it looks like. Um, I really wanted to do orange, but they don't have an orange kit. And uh, well, they do have an orange kit, but it's more reddish than orange, um, so, which is not the color I want. So um, instructions are pretty simple. Uh, they give you basically this brake, non-chlorinated brake cleaner. You basically are supposed to spray your caliper with it to clean it off. Uh, mask off your rotor, mask off anything you don't want painted or getting paint dripped on. Um, and um, basically pour the hardener into the paint. Uh, let that sit for five minutes. Then you can apply a first thin coat, wait another 15 minutes and apply a second coat. And then cure for two hours. Don't drive the car for 24 hours. That's pretty much verbatim. Um, now, I just got this, um, I don't know if you guys can tell, oh, can't really tell, uh, 2009 uh, E90 M3. Um, the calipers on this thing are pretty big in the front. I'm hoping I have enough paint to do all four. Um, also, mine are painted black. I don't know if they're factory painted black or somebody painted them black beforehand. Um, I'm gonna say they're painted factory black. So um, because they're painted, I also just did like a really light scuff uh, just to kind of rough up the paint a little bit. And then I sprayed it down with the brake cleaner. And uh, so we'll see what happens. There's a couple of things I'm not 100% how, how to do. So for example, there's the, the caliper clip. Um, this is black. I don't know if I should just leave this black or if I should paint this as well. Um, we'll see. Plus, the, the other part I don't like is this sits on the caliper, so you can kind of tell right there where it's rub, kind of like rubbed off. Um, so that's going to rub the paint in that particular spot. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to just give it two hours, put it on, um, and pray for the best. Because those, those things are not easy to put on. Um, they're a little finicky. Uh, oh, also, you do get a paintbrush and a stir stick as well. So, but um, this, this is what's going on right now. Took the front wheel off, cleaned this off, um, gave it a little sand, and the paint right now is curing. So I figured I was, might as well shoot the video. Um, and then I'm going to do the the rear basically while the first coat is drying so hopefully this works out I'll show you guys in a little bit all right guys uh, this is paint coat number one um, I would say coverage is pretty decent um, I didn't layer on layer it on very thick obviously so give this a few minutes uh, to sit and then I'm gonna go take the rear wheel off and start the process on that side and then come back and uh, I guess do this in 15 minutes or so so uh, Stay tuned. I'll show you guys some more Eventually All right boys and girls. This is what it looks like after probably at least three coats um, the second coat uh, you have to put on really thick and it still doesn't didn't really like fully cover everything um, So I had to put on quite a bit um, See like Actually now I have to touch this up too. like right in here. It has like a little bit of like Darker color in it, and I don't understand why um, So Yeah, I don't know if because my calipers are black and I'm going with a pretty bright color um, over a black paint um, maybe that is why I don't know but I've used quite a bit of this paint already so I'm hoping I have enough and now that I'm looking at it, I'm gonna have to touch up this as well um, 
and I have to put on my wheels so I can do the other side because I do not have enough jack stands or jacks to lift this car up everywhere and not leave the and not have to put the wheels on so the wheels are going to go on the car's just going to sit and then tomorrow I'll put the uh, caliper um, holder bracket thingies whatever they're called all right um, hopefully wish me luck on the on the other side thanks all right guys I wanted to show you the final result here uh, everything's been sitting for over 24 hours I just put the clips back on um, I would probably say you can I wouldn't paint with them on because there's no way you're going to get great coverage. Um, I just uh, basically masked the areas where anything was potentially going to touch, put it on, and then put a little pressure on whatever that part is to remove the tape to, you know, to basically like loosen it. So um, overall, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's like I'm extremely like overjoyed, but like, you know, there's like always like for some reason like two-tone cut like spots that's why i have to keep like adding more and more paint and you have to put on kind of thick and once you it's it kind of leaves you know a bit of lines you can you see like it's not super smooth um you probably can't really tell well you could tell here so see like right here like you can still see kind of striping and whatever and i put try to put this stuff on like pretty thick um the only thing I was sort of towards the end of the cold spectrum uh, when you need to put the stuff on. So I was at like 63 degrees, I think at the lowest, where it's like anywhere between 60 and 90. Um, and this is the last side I did. So I don't know if the paint was already, you know, starting to kind of dry up um, in the can. But I mean, overall it's pretty good for calipers, right? So this is lime green, that's the color. So that's it guys. Girls, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe, uh, like, make a comment, um, maybe share with me on Instagram if you've done this kit in a different color. I think it looks pretty good with the black. Um, the car's probably going to get wrapped though, so um, I don't know if I can live with black. It gets just so dirty so fast. So anyways, enough talking. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.